So if you're struggling to find Amazon FBA product ideas, maybe you've used Jungle Scout or you've used Helium 10 and you're just getting shown the same products again and again, then this video is for you because in this video, I'm gonna show you a completely different way to find Amazon FBA products that's super quick, super easy, and doesn't require any paid tools. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so step number one is that you want to think about a few products that you think sell really well on Amazon. So just think of some really obvious products and this is just gonna be a starting point. If you can't think of anything, just look around your house. So for example, I've got a water bottle here, so that could be a good example. Uh, over here, I've got a laptop stand, so that would be another good example. Um, but the key here is that you need to think of a product that you know has high demand. So. Don't think of any like really kind of specific obscure products like a specific part for an electric bicycle or something like that. It needs to be something that you know sells well on Amazon. So for this example, I'm gonna just choose a water bottle because I know this is a product that sells really well on Amazon. Now, once you've decided on a product or a few different products as a starting point, what you then wanna do is come over to Amazon and actually search the main keyword for that product on Amazon. Now, when I say main keyword, what I mean is the keyword that you think is the most relevant for the product that has the highest search volume. So for example, you wouldn't want to write something in like green metal insulated water bottle, right? That's a long tail keyword that's not gonna have that much search volume. Just keep it simple. For this, we just wanna search something like water bottle, or for this, we just wanna search laptop stand. So the keyword that has the highest search volume. So if we just write in water bottle here, you then wanna search that keyword on Amazon. Then what you wanna do is just look through the search results and select the best seller and also Amazon's choice. So those are the two products that you wanna select after searching the main keyword. Then you wanna come into these product pages and what we wanna do is we wanna find all of the other products that this seller is selling. And the way that you can do this is if you look on the right hand side, you'll see the buy box. So just below the buy now button, you'll see dispatch from and sold by. You wanna click into the sold by name this is gonna take you into the seller's store. And then if you scroll down to the very bottom, you'll see a little section that says, see all products. If you click into there, you'll see all the other products that this seller sells. The idea behind this method it is quite sneaky, but the idea behind this method is that if this seller has a best selling product for a really high demand niche like water bottles or laptop stands, then this is gonna be an experienced seller that knows what they're doing. They've managed to beat all of the competition in this niche. So this is likely an experienced seller that really knows what they're doing. And because they're an experienced seller, they will, would have gone through a whole product research process for each product that they've launched. So what we can do is we can come in to the products that they sell and we can just hijack their product ideas. So we can bypass the whole, pro the whole process of doing our own product research because they've already done it for us and we can just come and hijack their product ideas. So like I said, this is quite a sneaky method, but it's a great way to find product ideas that you would have just never have come up with on your own or using tools like the Helium 10 Black Box tool or Jungle Scout tools. So once you can see the other products that this seller sells, so if we scroll down, we can see them all. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we'll see, okay, so they've got nine pages of products. So this seller has a lot of products. So this is a great example. Um, then what you wanna do is you wanna open the Helium 10 Chrome extension, and then you wanna click and use the X-ray tool. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, this doesn't require any paid tools, and this Helium 10 X-ray tool is actually a free Chrome extension, which you can download and start using. Um, so I'd highly recommend you do that. Then once you've loaded the Helium 10 X-ray tool, what you wanna do is you then want to sort these results by revenue. So from the highest revenue down to the lowest revenue. And the reason why you wanna do this is that not all of the products that this seller sells are gonna be successful products that do well. So if we scroll down to the bottom, you can see some of the products only do a few thousand pounds. Some are basically generating no revenue. So obviously you want to ignore those products. Now, if you can't see that many, you can just click load more results and then the tool will go away and load some more results the page so if we keep scrolling down you can see there's loads of products that only generate a few hundred pounds or a couple of thousand pounds you want to avoid those products and you want to focus on the products that generate a higher amount of revenue now obviously some of these products generate about 150,000 pounds and unless you have a huge starting budget you're probably thinking okay I can't afford to launch a product like this but I wouldn't discount it just yet so 
What you wanna do is you wanna look at the highest revenue generating products, and then you wanna make a list of all of these products. So for example here, what's this top? This top one is a smart weighted hula hoop. Okay, so that's not a product that I've ever heard of before, um, but obviously, is a product that sells really well. This seller is generating 150,000 pounds just with this one product per month, which is actually insane. So this is definitely one you'd wanna to add to your list. Um, then we've got the water bottles, of course, um, some gloves. So guys, anything to do with gloves or masks, you just wanna avoid because um, Amazon has restrictions on those products due to COVID. So you don't wanna don't want to consider launching gloves or masks. Um, Laptop stand, okay, so laptop stand might be another one, another product that you'd wanna to add to your list. Uh, another smart weighted hula hoop. We've got some hand grip strengtheners, okay, so hand grip strengtheners would be another one that you wanna to add to your list. Now, if you watch my videos or you're part of my Amazon Brand Academy training program, you will know that the way that I like to teach product research is using a thing called the product research funnel. And the product research funnel has three stages. The first stage is called your product idea factory, and this is the stage where you fill your product research funnel with as many ideas as possible. Now, this method, which is called store sniping, would fall into stage one, right? This is just coming up with your initial product ideas. You can't take one of these products and just run with it because you don't know enough about it yet, right? You need to assess the market. So what you wanna do in the final step in this process is you wanna take each of these product ideas, and then you wanna come back to Amazon and you wanna search them on Amazon so you can assess the market as a whole. And this is stage two of the product research funnel. This is where you assess the demand and competition for each one of these product ideas as a whole, okay? So we'd come back over to Amazon and then what you'd wanna write in is, uh, what do we say, smart, smart weighted hula hoop, is that how you smell hula? Uh, hula, one out, there we go, smart weighted hula hoop, okay? And then you wanna search that on Amazon. Once that loads, you then wanna use the Helium 10 X-ray tool again. So we'll come back up here and click on the Helium 10 and load the X-ray tool. Now, once those results load on the Helium 10 X-ray tool, what you then wanna do is you want to delete, you want to not look at these sponsored product listings. So we'll click them and then we'll click delete. And we just wanna focus on the organic listings. Now, once you've deleted the sponsored product listings, what you then wanna do is we want to assess firstly, the strength of the demand for this product, and then secondly, the strength of the competition. So when you're looking at demand, we wanna look at the revenue column here, and we're looking for two things. Number one, is there high revenue for this product? Is there strong demand for this product? And number two, is that demand evenly distributed across the 10, top 10 to 20 listings? If it's evenly distributed across the 10, top 10 to 20 listings, you know that as a seller, if you can get into the top 10 listings, you're gonna be able to generate a really healthy revenue similar to the other sellers. So if we look at this example here, what you can see is that yes, there is strong demand for the product because some of the products are generating a very high revenue. However, there, the revenue or the demand is not evenly distributed across the top 10 listings. There's a couple of sellers here, specifically these two, which are actually the same K-Smart brand, that are absolutely dominating the market. And they've both got thousands of reviews, whereas the other sellers have a lot less reviews. Now, what this indicates is that this is either a very established seller or a big brand product that customers already know about. Now, if we come over and have a look at the related keywords, what you can see is that the, some of the highest search volume keywords in this niche are K-Smart, K-Smart. So K-Smart is the name of the brand of these two products, which means that this is a well-known brand that customers are actually searching for specifically on Amazon. So what this all indicates to me is that you're gonna find it very hard to compete with this seller. So this is probably a product that I would actually avoid launching. It's not a product that personally I would get involved in. That said, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see that there are a lot of sellers with under 100 reviews. So this seller has 32 reviews. This one has 47, this one has 31, who are all generating a healthy revenue, not a bad revenue of somewhere between two and 4,000 pounds. So if you're just trying to achieve three to 4,000 pounds 
with your product launch, then this could be a product that you might wanna consider launching. But if you're trying to achieve higher revenue numbers, then you probably wanna avoid this product because you're just not gonna be able to compete with this seller. So this is the kind of process that you wanna go through using the Helium 10 X-Ray tool for each one of those products you find when you're using that store sniping method. So guys, I hope you found that video useful. If you did, don't forget to give the video a like. It really helps boost the video in the algorithm. Also, make sure you're subscribed to the channel with the notification bell turned on so you never miss a video and I will see you in the next one.